Well, continues to take to Nigeria's presidential and national assembly election. The electoral umpire is set and security agencies have deployed watertight security across the country. More than 87 million permanent voters' cards have been collected nationwide. Now, this is out of the 93.4 million Nigerians who are eligible to vote in Saturday's polls. At a briefing on Thursday, the commission declared that 6.2 million PVCs remain uncollected. This number remains the largest voter population ever recorded in the West African region, but the commission says it has meticulously prepared for the election. The commission insists that the general election will hold as planned across the 176,000 polling units. It is just a matter of hours before the commencement of the 2023 general elections. For several months, political parties and their candidates have been conversing for votes. It is now time for Nigerians to determine who their next president and federal lawmakers would be. Let's find out from residents of Gombe what they hope that these sets of leaders would bring to the table. When we have this government, the government are expected to have a good sense of leadership and honesty which the society should benefit by fostering peace, justice and progress among the people. I want the next coming president to help us, especially us the youth, to create job opportunity and also the security in Nigeria and education sector. Economic and the security, that is the only thing that I will just look for it. But we have many things. There is insufficient of uh, social amenities. And then there is problem of road, water, medicine and the hospitals. All this thing is a problem. But that insecurity and the economic is the main thing that they're supposed to come and look for it. First of all is security. We will have a standard security. I believe that uh, everything will move uh, as expected. We are praying that God will give us a leader that has the nation at heart, not a leader that wants his pockets. That is what we are praying for. I just pray that God will give us a peaceful election. Apparently, the priorities of most residents of Gombe is security, the economy and social welfare. As they go to the polls in the next few hours, these issues may guide their pattern of voting and influence who becomes the next president of Nigeria. Landry Adeyemi, CVC News, Gombe.